What's happening, fam? You see it in front of you. Today, we're about to take out this Team Corley Jambo out on location to do a little run. So, uh, you know, let's stop all this talking. You know what we're about to do. So, as normal, let's pay those bills. A lot of field to work with. Time to take the Jambo out, see what she can do. A lot of open space. Oh, I can. oh, she wants to jump right off the bat, fam. She wants to jump and wheelie right off the bat. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, punch. So let's flip her over. Little rash, no digging. Oh yeah, you turned this hard. She ain't going nowhere, but she wants to come up. Oh yeah, she ain't afraid to hit that dirt. Let's see what we got. Oh, she ain't turning over on She ain't, look at that. Ridiculous, look at that. This is a stunt truck, no doubt. All right, got a bunch of crap on here. Let's see what speed we got, just to see. Didn't punch it too hard. So let's stop it, do a reading. We got up to 40, I mean, that's not bad. Let's save that. We're gonna put that in our save the image. Got it. Go back. Track it, start it. All right, let's have some fun. Problem is, is calling these uh, causing the front suspension to toe in like that so bad. Something broke. It looks like it's broke on both sides. It's not an adjustment. I don't know what it is. See what 
type of wheel speed you get coming from the grass to the asphalt. That's a wipeout. So we're going to read and see what that last speed was. See what we broke on this joint. Did we just break the A-arm? What really came away? Oh yeah. And that's metal, fam. This right here is metal. Yeah, she still wants to run, but unfortunately we can't. So let's take a look at the problem. Eventually. All right, let's check the temps. See what our temps are. All right, on the motor, we're looking at about 128, 130, 129 on the motor, ESC, fans going like a champ, 188 on the fan portion, and then about 95 on the actual ESC, battery, about 88, wheels and tires, front we're looking at about 82, 83, and the rear about 84. So let's check that uh, last speed run, see what we got out of it. Stop it and read. We got, got up to 49. So we got nine more miles an hour out of this, probably right before we wrecked it. All right, we'll take a few pictures of the wreck, see what we got here. I mean, the arms and the steering link are intact. Oh, I see we're, we're missing. Okay. I don't know if you can see it on cam. If not, I'll take some photos. And when we get back and do the outro, I'll talk about it. But I see what broke. That seems to be an easy. Yeah, we just got to get those back in there. This steering linkage is bent. Got a little bend right here. Wheel still good. Yep, got some minor surgery to do with the Jimbo. Let's shut it down. Overall, I'm impressed. I'm actually pleased with the run outside of the um, issues we have. So I know I need to um, do a proper XT90 connector on the ESC so that it doesn't come out from the battery. And then figure out why we were losing signal as far as throttle. And I think that may be due to possibly the receiver. I got to look in the box and see if... Um, the connector is all the way in the receiver tight. If not, we got other problems. But other than that, everything else, I mean, look at it. Let's take a look. Look at that, hardly no scrapes and scratches on the chassis itself. It's just dirty. And we, uh, you know, we went head on with this uh, right side suspension with the wheel and tire, and it took all the force, but the rest of the vehicle is beautiful. And again, the challenge is issued. Not only can you, uh, I'm looking for the st uh, single standing backflip, but the challenge is out now for a double backflip. You must stand on all four wheels and continue forward motion at speed. All right, fam, let's get back to the crib. All right, fam, so this is the right front passenger side tire that broke off when I did that crash test dummy demonstration to the side of that shed. But you can see right off the bat, the damage just wasn't done to the internals that broke, you know, the knuckle that broke away from the actual chassis. We also got a hole in the sidewall 
of the tire. I'm not sure if that happened before or after, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that happened before, I mean, excuse me, after I hit that small shed. And let's take a look at the internals. You can see right here on the knuckle, if I can get it adjusted, this little adapter plate is what broke off from the actual chassis. And we'll get a better look at that in a second. So this is what it's going to reattach to the uh, actual chassis. So I'm sure, uh, or I'm hoping that I'll be able just to buy this piece, all right, to get the fix. And then the dog bone, as you can see here, is clearly bent, all right? But that is not really, in my opinion, bad news when you see how the A-arms and the steering uh, link, the solid steering links, how those fared on that side. So let's take a look at that as well as some of the other wheels that I did a quick inspection on and you'll see the damage that was done to those. Okay, let's take a look, closer look at the uh, the solid, the arms, the A-arms and the fixed steering link. Let's take a look at them. Now, you can see right off the bat, there is no bend or any damage right now with the naked eye that the eye can see on these arms. All right, that's a testament to just how strong these A-arms and that solid steering link is. No damage whatsoever. The balls, that's a bad shot, but in pretty good. I mean, excellent condition. I am not upset at all uh, from what happened. It, it just, it did probably what it was designed to do in a crash of that caliber. So right off the bat, you know, I wasn't even upset. I expected that because when I bought the Jambo, I said, I'm going to, this is the one I'm going to run into the ground. I'm not going to worry too much about it. This is the one I have the most fun with. But this small accident, it's not a big deal. Overall, before I even close out this video, I'm going to give this Jambo a solid B plus just on the fun and ease of the drive. And I can say a testament right now to this, this crash. I can say head on this crash because the last speed that I got out of this, which was probably right before the crash happened, was 49 miles an hour. So 49 miles an hour into a solid object, which happened to be a solid shed, and this is all the damage I get? Okay, I'm not complaining whatsoever. So let's move on and look at some of the other tires. I did see another hole in one of them, and that is the same side, the right rear tire. You can see already here, and let me turn it around so it's up top. Already right here, we've got a solid hole all the way, all the, already in the tire. All right, there's no denying that. That's busted through. Again, without looking at the, the footage, you know, once I edit it, I'll see it and I'll put some notes in the video, but without uh, have looked at the footage firsthand, I don't know if this really caught the side of that shed. But again, everything is still intact. It looks very well. Once I take all the wheels off and take a look, I'll know for sure. But this little damage from a 49 mile an hour head-on collision, hey, Team Coraline, you guys put together a, a hell, a tank of a vehicle. All right, fam, we're at the end of another one. You saw the running video. You saw me go over some of the problems that I encountered or I found that I had based off of the crash. But again, I'm going to say, I'm going to give this Team Coralie Jambo or Jambo, Hambone, whatever, man. I'm gonna give this joint out the box, because everything was stock, stock gearing, stock everything. Out the box, again, a solid B plus. Yes, I broke a front uh, wheel, came away from the, the steering assembly, but in the grand scheme of things, okay, with the amount of speed and force that was exerted in that crash, this is all that happened. I mean, take a look at the front steering assembly, the A-arms and everything. Just with the naked eye alone, no bends, nothing came away from the chassis. Absolutely nothing. These huge tires, all right, I think I'm gonna give it to that. These huge tires, all right, on the Jambo took pretty much all of the force, all right, and distributed that throughout the tire. And that's why we got, you know, a blown tire with a hole right here. And the only thing we had, they, they came away from the knuckles. It came, the knuckle came away from the steering, uh, front steering suspension. I see no warping or problems with the holes that the ball joints go into. Uh, this adapter plate right here that I pointed out before, this is what I feel that I'd really need to replace. I do need an entire wheel and tire. But that is all of the damage that happened from that crash. 
I have to give this a solid B plus. Some people may be bummed out and be like, oh man, I wrecked a, you know, perfectly. No, I did the driving. I ran into that, that building, you know, that shed, my line. I wasn't where I needed to be to see my line. No big deal. This is easily repairable, easily repairable. And there's going to be a video for that coming soon. Once I get the few parts I need and get a couple new wheels and tires. As a matter of fact, I may buy a new set of all four different wheels and tires. I don't know, but I can attribute the small amount of damage to this vehicle, to the sturdiness of it, because I can say now with 100% accuracy and truthfulness that this is built like a tank. If this is a testament to any of their other vehicles, if you suffer such a, a fate as I had with a similar type crash, you're going to come out smiling like I did. All right, the runs were great. She's got plenty of speed, got a max of 49 miles an hour for this little short wheelbase vehicle. She's a stallion, I mean a quarter horse, a thoroughbred off the start. So we've come to the end of another one. Hey, and remember, we've got a current giveaway going right now. We're not doing just one T-Bone Racing Mini Portable Ramp. We're now giving away two T-Bone Racing many portable ramps. Everyone who has subscribed and commented on this vehicle that's up top on uh, this vehicle, duh, on this video that's up top in the cards right now, you already qualify for the giveaway, okay? But you're also qualified for both. So if you don't win the first draw, we'll do a second one. You have two chances. Anyone who hasn't subscribed, check out my, all my previous giveaway videos. You'll see that we don't play around here. As always, fam, I am Jay of Jay Sinister Productions, exiting stage left. What, got something else? I don't know what's the matter with me yet. What other thing? Jay Sinister Productions. <laughs>